Holy shit. Naruto 609 just came out. Wow. This chapter, shit is going crazy. And I love that the strategy in this chapter, they actually use strategy when going up against Obito. And it, it worked out so well. Uh, man. Alright, so basically I want to clear a couple things up because a couple things there's like a little bit of confusing things going on and some people might not understand what was happening exactly because it took me a couple reads to get, you know, to thoroughly digest what was going on. So let's get to it. Uh, first of all, the trash talk. I just want to note that real quick. Like, Obito, really? You telling Kakashi stay in your bin? Since when do you got jokes, dog? And then Naruto throws one right back at him. He's like, now I can see it clearly. You're suffering mug. And it's like, you telling him stay in your bin? Are you are you serious, Obito? Really? Really? <laughs> that had me laughing. And then, uh, basically, so what happens is the QB gives... Kakashi chakra while he's uh, throwing him basically so that Obito can suck him up into the next dimension because Kakashi's drained and basically the QB switches with Naruto for a second and gives him some chakra so that way he can like move freely back and forth with the Kamui so if you didn't understand that basically that's what it was uh, the QB gave him chakra and so that he can uh, basically move back and forth because you know Kakashi's already all messed up and basically, what they do, as far as the strategy goes, is since Obito is sending parts of his body to the other dimension, then Kakashi could just stay there and punch him in the gut, do whatever. And to me, that was a brilliant strategy. Very well done. I, I give it a key sheet for putting that together because it's like, you know, how do, how do we get him? How do we touch him? That's a perfect thing. While Naruto is throwing blows, Kakashi is hitting him on the other side and Obito is taking an ass whooping. And I'm like, this is exactly what you deserve. You killed his parents. You did this. You did that. This is exactly what you get. And I loved it. This chapter, if I had one complaint about it, is like Madara is just chilling on the sidelines. Like we see him at the very end, which I'm going to get to the very end, people. I'm going to get to it. But that that's pretty much my only complaint is like, come on, Madara, really? You could have easily been in there helping Obito out. And that just goes to show how much he really cares about Obito, the young Uchiha. He don't give a shit about him. He's on the sideline drinking a lemonade. Like, yo, Obito, you done getting your ass whipped yet? And I was just laughing. Like, you know, he, he really don't care. And basically, in the end, Naruto summons the the chakra of the QB, and him and B are throwing freaking Biju blasts at the uh, Ghetto Mazo because they're still aware of him. Basically, what has been happening the entire time? Because a lot of people have been asking me, "Yo, where's the Ghetto Mazo? What's going on? How you know what happened to him?" And basically, he's just been in the back, rejuvenating and becoming the actual Juby. And in the end, he arises. They think, "Oh, we won, we won." And Obito says, "Yes, yeah, the end of the world." And Madara's like. Oh, well, I was just like, yo, such a great way to end the chapter. Really, really got me. I'm not going to lie. I'm really excited and hype off of this. Like, last couple chapters, mm, cool fights and stuff. But this is the chapter that got me again. Like, yes, we are back, people. We are back. Now, I hope Kishi doesn't play us and do this. Like, the Jubies arrived. And then we're going to Sasuke next week because I'm going to be like, I wanted Sasuke when it was getting slow. I don't want Sasuke now that the Juby is here. Come on. Come on, Kishi. Don't do this to us. All around, really freaking crazy way to end the chapter. Really awesome chapters. Like, you got trash talking. You got strategy. You know, again, like I said, the only complaint that I have is Madara ain't fighting at all. He's basically standing on the sidelines and, you know, you got B there. And by the way, I want to talk a little bit about Guy Sensei. Guy Sensei is Fucked up. Like, he is done. Naruto needs to go and give some chakra to him. Because he is just drained after he uses a daytime uh, afternoon tiger, a daytime tiger, whichever translation you want to use. After he uses that, when I first see the chapter, the, the very first page is him just like, he looks like he's dead. Give him some chakra immediately because he's going to die. And all around, just crazy way to end the chapter. Very awesome. Let me know what you think. Can Naruto and them stop the, the Juby? How is it going to go down? Because the Juby is reviving right there. You see the Juby clearly. The Ten Tails. If you don't know what Juby is, Ten Tails is coming. And it's going to get crazy. Mind blown. <laughs> Again, let me know what you think. I enjoyed the chapter a lot. Definitely a step up from the last couple chapters. Because you got action. you got strategy. you got a surprise at the end. And it's going to go down. Let's just hope Kishi don't do that to us and go to Sasuke next. Because as much as I want to see that, I kind of want to see what's going to happen with the Juby right now. The legendary beast, Ten Tails. Let me see this. But that's all I have for this review. As, as you can tell by my expression and my uh, composure, it was a really freaking beast chapter. 
I'm Fennel World. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you want the Juby next week. You want to see it go down. We've been waiting so long to see this, and it's finally here, people. It's finally here. I'm Fennel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.